Hey guys. So those of you who are paying attention in April when I was doing those daily videos will have remembered um, towards the end of the month, I had to um, like not show some stuff for the bachelorette party, surprise bachelorette party I was throwing for my sister. And I had to keep everything that I was planning for it off camera just in case she was watching those videos. I knew she probably wasn't, but there was a chance because it was accessible to her, you know? Um, and so at that time I had just gotten my new planner that I'm using now. Um, and so I was able to play around with that and I was, I was setting up and trying out some dailies and stuff. And so I was planning the bachelorette stuff in the new planner and leaving it off of my like official traveler's notebook, Bujo. And so that worked out really well because I had a secret place that I wasn't showing people. Um, and that was where I kept everything, you know, for that project. Um, but then I decided that I wasn't going to even mention that planner until after April and that I wasn't going to show it until July. Um, so you still haven't seen it yet. Um, and it's just, more secrets. It's secrets on secrets. And that's what this video is about. Um, it's been kind of nice since April ended being able to, um, since I'm not filming daily videos or I'm actually not doing a lot of like, this is my current week, this is my current month kind of videos for right now while I'm working on getting set up for um, maternity leave. And it's been really kind of nice that I don't have to think oh, is it okay if I write this in my planner? What if someone sees it? Um, you know, is this proprietary to somebody or is this secret that only I want to know? Or is it something that people can't know about or shouldn't know about, phone numbers, whatever. Um, it's been just really nice having my bullet journal be kind of private for a change. Not that it usually bothers me. Like I kind of pride myself on being pretty open and honest about my planning um, and what's in my life. And, you know, I'm not like... I don't hold back the TMI and stuff like it's just it's all there and it's fine and I don't mind sharing stuff with people. So mostly the things that I'm not allowed to show are things like someone else's phone number or, um, you know, like numbers and passwords and things. But um, a lot of times it's like worrying about mentioning another person in my planner and them not being OK with it and me not having time to like ask them. And like I shouldn't have to ask somebody before I write their name in my planner if there's someone in my life. But if it's like in public, I have to double and triple check in my mind, you know, is it OK? And so the two options for hiding things are either you use a sticky note over it. So you have to go through before and like look at every single line and go, does this need to be hidden? Or you have to do that after the fact and blur it in, um, in the edit. And I don't even know sometimes which is harder, probably the blurring, but in any case, you have to like go back and look at everything that's on the page that you may not have to really worry about once the day is over, but you can't let other people see it. So you have to be like vigilant. Um, so that's what's, that's what makes it a lot of work, you know? A lot of this is really only an issue like right now as I'm sort of transitioning into pre-recorded videos and trying to keep things like contiguous. Um, after the baby comes, the Sunday videos that I'm going to be posting are going to be like really, really real, uh, probably. <laughs> and I'll tell you more about that in, I think, the very next video this Sunday. Um, but like then everything's pre-recorded and pretty hidden but then after that hopefully I'll re be returning to a normal like setting up my month setting up my week talking about how things are going with my planner routine on a like real-time basis so I'll be hiding less from you then it's just everything's been sort of weird right now while I'm getting caught up um and I feel like I have to like hide part of myself from you and I don't like doing that it's just sort of necessary um but kind of weird you know but anyway, for those of you who like make videos yourselves, how do you usually prefer to deal with it? Do you prefer to just not put sensitive information in your public bujo? Do you prefer to use a sticky note or do you just blur it out after the fact? And for those of you who don't make videos, like which do you prefer? Do you prefer like a bullet journal that pretty obviously looks like it's not really used day to day? Or do you prefer, you know, seeing sticky notes covering everything so you can't tell what's going on or do you prefer that sensor blur? I don't know if I'm going to switch how I do things, um, but it's just interesting to start that conversation because like planners are very personal, but when we share them, 
it's kind of weird, right? Because like we have to hide part of that personal self while sharing other parts of that personal self. And it's just an interesting, just an interesting thing that I've been thinking about lately. Anyway, uh, that's all I had to say today. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe um, because I don't want you to miss any of the videos coming up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.